Hi, this is Yoshi. Uh, today I want to mount this Bellina. Uh, it's got a spike on it, so this could be a challenge. But yeah, here's the tag. I usually uh, mount all my uh, Polynopsis species. And of course it comes with a plug, but... Um, so today, I am going to do this. Now, it came off from the pot, no problem. So that wasn't the challenge apparently. Well, how are you guys doing? Um, I am hoping you guys are doing good. Um, we're super busy, or I'm super busy. And my wife is of course busy with three little monsters. Um, but anyways, I am going into the super busy season at my office, USPS, if you don't know, I deliver mail, that's my daytime job. Oh, look at that, it all came off nicely, that's nice. And, uh, we are having a crisis on not having enough people. Uh, and it's been going on for like two, three years, but it's been especially bad for the last two years. And uh, we're going into the busiest season, so we'll see what happens, but all right, this one's already um, sanitized with alcohol. I saw some bad roots here. Um, if it doesn't have any substantial feeling to it, then you don't need that root. Um, but like I said, I am mounting it. And uh, so far, the root system looks pretty good. It's got a new, lots of new roots coming out. So this is pretty uh, good time to uh, do this, I think. But anyways, the point for this is you have to figure out which way it's going down because phalaenopsis usually hang down this way this is how and here's the let's say the mount i'm using it this and this is a tree right this is how it hangs down and if you put it up and if you put water from the top which is most likely what i would do in a greenhouse because i can't care less eat each every one of a orchid I would like it simple and I would like to uh, water from the top uh, so especially for my lovely species potting is not really my option um, to uh, avoid the crown rot the water stays in there if you water and then um, if you leave it on if the water stays on long enough it's gonna start rot from this water in there so that's why I would like to mount it because that way the water goes down. But you have to kind of know which way is up and which way is down. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, to be honest with you, with this one. I can't usually tell, but I think it's going to go this way. So this way, I'm going to put it this way down so I know which way is up and which way is down. Oh, come on, stay there, just like that. It doesn't want to okay um and uh today this is the piece i'm using and uh, uh i want to make sure i'm recording uh last last video i realized i didn't tape <laughs> i didn't hit the record so there's gonna be a one mysterious uh mount that i'm gonna show you after this that i didn't tape Anyways, so that's that. I already made a hole and I have a wire here too. Um, and so it's gonna go like this, right? So, I'm going to put the fishing line first. I like it this way because then I don't have to worry about um, um, fish, uh, the orchid stays along with the uh, Fish, fishing line um, because the fish line fishing line is already there right so that's what I like to do 
uh, made a little hole and then I slipped in this line in here and I put it just like so in here and uh, just like that and I I try to keep this knot in the middle um, and I'll show you why later or you'll see it why later but uh, um, just like that just like this and uh, probably I'm gonna go once around maybe one more time hmm I think I want it I want this roots to stay on the mount so I'm gonna do this like that and then I usually like to put the moss around I need to be ever so careful not to break the spike because I would like to see the flower this is like my third bellina but you know you who doesn't want many phalaenopsis billion right um, i love bellina bellina is one of those phalaenopsis that i fell in love with when i uh went to uh, seattle orchid first time uh while seattle orchid was still in seattle seriously i went there for the first time and bellina was in bloom and the smell was just oh my god it was just out of world and just fell in love with it and uh yeah i like violacea too but i really like the fowl's uh fragrance a lot so you know here it is uh i hope i take the, the i hope the video or i i hope the all kids is in the camera I can't see the camera or I should say my phone's screen so I don't know if I got this right but I basically just go around it that's all and uh, I think I would like a little more moss in here uh, use this ditch as uh, extra moisture holder you know what I mean just like that and I'm gonna cut it here and then Flip it around right so this is the beginning and I like to go through this little V shape Roger calls it I hope that makes sense but can I see it yeah I can see it goes in here come on goes in there and then I'm gonna tie the knot here I usually go five times one two three four five Boop. oopsie um, and then I cut those lines I don't need this anymore uh, so just like that the spike is safe the plant is safe it's pretty stable and then this particular Phalaenopsis bellina is it says Phalaenopsis bellina variation alba so I would like to see the bloom I don't have this variation that's another reason why I kept it but just like that and then now I do this and remember I made a two holes here we go through this like that and then put this here tag and then go like this there you go one done all right next okay here's a new one uh this is uh phalaenopsis manii i wanted this for a while and uh I got the chance to get one so let's see how it looks like this is a 
pretty much almost volumin size, believe me or not. Those felt wow, look at this new root, or not new, but I mean the uh, healthy looking root. This is a home run. Um, this sphagnum moss wasn't really packed, so that's good. All right, looks pretty healthy, no spikes, but like I said, these guys, Bellina also, I mean, you saw that Bellina, it doesn't look that big, but it's already spiking. Same thing with Maniae, Ludem Maniana, something like that. Uh, they can bloom in early stages. Um, so sometimes you get near blooming sites from some other orchid store and uh, seems very small. Guess what? It is actually blooming size or near blooming size. So, again, lots of a uh, lots of a hydrogen peroxide and try to wash this out with the hydrogen peroxide. I'm not gonna wait actually because I know um, it's it's sit sitting here for a while in my spot and uh, I didn't see any um, snails so um, but I'm going to wash this and uh, I'll be right back alrighty I'm back um, I'm gonna do this first I don't know why but I wanted to do this first Now, uh, so this one, I think, goes this way, yeah, I think, this is down, it's so hard to tell sometimes, if I make a mistake, if I make a mistake, you know, what did I say, if I make a mistake, I make a mistake, you know what I mean, I, I'm not too worried about it. Maybe around here, yeah? Okay, so around here would be the middle center. Same thing. Make a loop. Or not here. This one goes in here. And tie it this way. So it stays on. And okay. And then like I said, I want this knot in the middle right here. So hopefully it stays this way here. I uh, kind of want to make sure again, this way, this way. Hmm so hard to tell i think it's this way okay so i'm gonna put it this way so lucky the roots were wet and somewhat flexible i don't know what to do with this but hmm, maybe i should do this like that and you know hang down like this but i don't know what to do with this well we'll get used to it i think and you know, most of the time, uh, they will just make a new roots. So, you know, the new roots can do whatever, you know, stick on, stick to a uh, mount or be a uh, air roots or I don't know, whatever. Um, anyways, goes like this a little bit. And then I put the moss around it. So, I really wanted the money eye for a while, so I'm pretty stoked about this. Like that, maybe? Okay, now let's put the fish line around. And I'm actually not really shy about putting so many fishing line around. Some people don't like that, but um, I like to. Make sure that orchid stable on 
the mount so I'm not really shy about making a loop so many times basically I'll do it until it's knit you know like make for sure that it's stable and it looks good right now see that the, those roots are outside but I don't care these I don't care they will uh, adjust themselves hopefully okay again here is where is it this is the the loop the beginning go through this and cut ah. oops hope it's okay yeah i think it's okay all right and then again So, put this here. Okay. Second one done. Actually, third one, but I'll tell you why it's a second one. Okay. Now, this is a uh, Phalaenopsis Speciosa Blue. This is Purple. another one. Huh? Purple. Blue. Blue. I have never seen a blue orchid. All blue. You're purple. Blue. Uh-uh. You're blue. blue. Uh, please forgive my assistant. Purple. Um, this one I also wanted it for a while. This is, uh, I think it's rather miniature Phalaenopsis. Smaller size. So this is well, might as well a blooming size, I think. Uh, blue. Purple. It's like you Japanese people in your blue go lights. They're green. Blue. I need to teach you what blue actually is. Assistant? Yes? Clearly, I should be the main assistant. Boss. You should be the assistant because I know it's purple and not blue. Assistant? Mm -hmm. And I think one more, I have one more Phalaenopsis speciosa either coming or have, I don't remember. I do have money I actually for sale uh, on my uh, new website, orchidsbythelake.com. Um, and I think this one, I don't remember. I have so many uh, on the listing and I don't remember which one is listed and which one's not. Um, but anyways, uh, it, if it's not on the website, then it will be at some point because I know I have one more. I will have one more. So, uh, and I think I have, see, here's the thing. I think I have Speciosa Alba, but it doesn't look like this. Hmm, anyways. Mystery, mystery. I have a mystery fowl that was uh, mislabeled and uh, my supplier admit that it was mislabeled and I have no idea what that is. So I'll clean this one up and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, I'm a little thirsty now. I usually don't drink, but 10 at night. All right. Okay, so hydrogen peroxide dose. Um, this one will be on this mount. And yeah, this is obvious. This is the, this goes like that. So that's easy to figure out, huh? Um, same thing. And I guess 
I'm gonna let this all roots down downward like that I guess and tie around not too tight though uh, just enough to keep the orchid stable because you know you don't want to pinch the roots yeah just like that okay now I'm gonna go around it this is one thick piece of a cork actually I'm planning on uh, making a cork available to buy from my uh, website also a lot in my basement a uh, big piece I gave some to uh, Todd and I gave another one to uh, Justin from Justin's Orchid and more Todd's channel is Todd's Tropical um, but eventually what I want to do is uh, to sell some uh, nice piece of a uh, cork bark also I don't have it listed yet but five times okay this time I'm gonna hold the top so it won't fall okay much all the same right I mean there's not much to it it's all pretty much the same well actually to be honest with you the first one I did was bulb phylum and then after I finished the mounting I realized I forgot to push record okay just like that okay and uh, You guys don't mind longer videos do you this is i wanted this for a while actually for the bloom dendrobium hercoglossum hercoglossum i uh bought it at the orchid show we just had at the uh, volunteer park conservatory uh, this came from uh, olympic orchid oh looks like it's got a good roots. It looks very uh, algae-ish, full of algae on the top, but the inside uh, is actually pretty good. And they will do very well on um, mounting. Uh, if you watch Rogers, he's got gorgeous, gorgeous Hercoglossum, and I really wanted that, so. Here we go. It is a seedling, and I don't know how long it's gonna take to be a blooming size, but you know. Oops. Just okay. I'll leave it. Keep it intact like that. Now let's see this one. Good roots. Good roots. Might be a couple pieces too. I don't know. Yeah, I bought two because I wanted it bushy. And uh, if you have a Her Hercoglossum and uh, have a tip for me, please. Let me know. Um, I'll gladly take a comment on how to grow this one. Because at this point, I don't remember if it needs a winter rest or not, dry rest or not. I don't remember. It's a whole bunch, two pieces, I think. 
but it's okay. No, it's a four pieces. Look at that. And I'm gonna just a bunch up together and then uh, mount it. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be right back. All right. I don't really have to clean up this uh, Spanish moss, Spanish moss, sphagnum moss, because I'm putting the sphagnum moss on anyways. Okay, so this is the piece. Um, I don't think Roger's Helco Grossum doesn't have, uh, I don't think it has a big piece, probably about this piece. And uh, it's just full of roots around it. And this one goes, hangs down, so I think I'm gonna go like this. Like this, what do you think? Yeah, looking good, I think. All right. Do you have uh, Orchid Society in your local area? If it does, are you part of it? Because... You know, being in a Orchid Society helps you a lot in so many cases. Um, I got to know a lot of people. My daughter now has a job, a volunteer job at the Orchid Society, uh, which is pretty exciting to me because uh, we've been looking for a volunteer job for her, uh, what is that program? Miss Aquafest program? Is that how you call it? Can I call it that way? Yeah. Um, so she's gonna be a part of Orchid Society, which is very exciting. And uh, she's been there for a while, uh, many, uh, a few times. Um, and uh, so many people actually <laughs> remember her because she's uh, annoying. I mean, uh, she's a character. Um, so they're really glad to have is her. Uh, no, she did I? Not okay. What she is she? Is over the top. Oh, okay. Over the top. Remember the term. She's not annoying. She's over the top. I guess. She, I guess she my. Also has you wrapped around her little finger, friend. What does that mean? That means that she controls you. All Me? No. <laughs> really? Me? No. Uh -huh. She can't control me. <laughs> so what I did was this time I just put the moss underneath and then basically tying up from the bottom so it can just hang out hang down like this. And probably this is enough. Look at that, how many times. Maybe I did, I overdo, done it, maybe. But it's okay. Okay, so, same thing. So, um, in a few videos later, you might, I might uh, make a video of her drawing on the ruffle drawing. That's her job, and uh, yeah. She likes the cookies they have. That's why she likes to go. But and cut. Okay, what do you think? Yeah, looking okay. I think if when it grows a little more, then it's gonna hang down better, like Rogers. Man, Rogers Herco Grossum is awesome. That's my goal. Olympic orchids. Was good to see them. Well, I saw Hannah, not Ellen, which is too bad. I mean, not that bad to see her, but I wanted to see Ellen also. But okay, that's done. So I'll show you now all those mount I did. I'll go grow some maniai. No, Speciosa. This is the Bulbophyllum that I thought I was taping and I didn't. I hit, I forgot to hit the record button. This is two pieces, by the way, if you could tell. And this is the Maniai. And this is 
Belina. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully, it's not too long of a video. But uh, thank you for watching again. And uh, you guys have a good day. Bye.